Hi, my name is David Lee. One of the design approaches that we utilize in the STEM program is called design thinking, an iterative method uh, that is used to solve complex problems with a huge focus on human-centered design and radical collaboration. Popularized by the Institute of Design at Stanford, also known as the D School, the solution thinking method generates creative solutions to real-world problems. The process involves five stages, empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. In this video, I will describe my experience in working with Mrs. Keyshaw's first grade class for a unit on animals. The unit was based on the next generation science standard LS1.8, Structure and Function. This unit also involved the K2 Engineering Next Generation Standards. Mrs. Keyshaw and I thought this unit would be a great opportunity for students to try using the design thinking method. The goal of the unit was to have students design the ultimate animal and present their design to Mr. Bernardi, our computer science teacher who was formerly a zookeeper. The unit began with a class discussion where students discovered that the external parts of animals had specific functions that helped them to survive in their environment. They also talked about the essential needs that every animal had. In the empathize stage, students used the Kids National Geographic website to gain a deeper understanding of their subjects, looking up numerous animals, observing their unique external parts, and trying to figure out their functionality. They jotted down all the external parts they found on the website. In the defined stage, the class discussed what were the needs of all animals and tried to find insights that would affect the design of their ultimate animal. They soon figured out that all animals had external parts that serviced them with their essential needs, as well as helped them survive in their unique environments. Next, we placed the students in groups and had them list all the external parts animals would have in different habitats. Using the most significant need and insight, the class developed this problem sentence. 1C will design the ultimate animal that can survive in every environment by finding food, water, air, and shelter. The ID8 stage requires students to list as many visual solutions they could for the problem statement. During this time, Mrs. Keyshaw, Ms. Cho, and I walked around the room and provided constructive feedback that would help them with their design. After reflecting on the feedback, students developed a new design of their ultimate animal for their problem sentence. In this stage, students created a physical mock-up of their ultimate animal using clay. This process also consisted of teachers providing specific feedback. Some students found that they needed to make alterations due to the unproportionate design. We were lucky to have Ms. Bettison, our elementary art teacher, teach the students about scoring, a technique used to join two pieces of clay together by scratching down the surfaces of the two pieces. She also explained that clay pieces should not be thicker than one inch. During the firing process, bubbles trapped in these parts might explode causing the prototypes to be destroyed. Finally, students painted their ultimate animals and were sent to the kiln. Before presenting their ultimate animal to the zookeeper, students used the Explain Everything app, an interactive whiteboard with screencasting capabilities, to record themselves describing their ultimate animal. Finally, Mr. Bernardi came to the class as the zookeeper and interviewed each student about their ultimate animal. He provided students feedback on what external parts of the animal worked and what external parts may need more thought. The students then had the option to make the necessary adjustments to their ultimate animal. 